Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the market and what it's going to be doing the next couple of days, high points, low points, when you guys should pick up some players and when I'm going to be buying players. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Just started streaming on Twitch, so the link for that will be in the description. Uh, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Starting off with transfer list like normal, I want to show you guys what I have. Um, I've just been listing my Van de Beeks for lazies. Uh, he went down a little bit, but he, he'll go back up. I'm just trying to get coins for tonight. Um, Upamakano, right? I had one of him at 120. Not sure where he is. Uh, I got, I got one at 120 the other day, right? And then he went up to like 140, 150 today. And then he went back down. So... I just picked more of them up, right? 128, 131. I think 131 is the highest that I bought them for. I got five. And that one I got at 130. I think he could be 150 in like, like five hours. Uh, Cause rewards come out in a couple of hours. And when rewards come out, people have more coins on the market and therefore they're gonna be buying teams and prices are gonna go up. And the thing with Upamakano, Team of the Week won in form, and he's super meta. 80 pace, 83 defending, 84 physical. He's French. Um, he's gonna link with Varan. And Holland just got a Team of the Week. Saint Maximum just got a Team of the Week. Theo Hernandez just got a Team of the Week. Those are all players that can link with him in some type of way. Uh, and yeah, people are gonna want this card in their teams. And if you guys did pick one of them up, he's already up a bunch, so you could take your money. I'm hoping to sell him at like 150 to 160 in a couple of days. I know that next week on Thursday, the market's going to go up a ton um, because everyone's going to be building their weekend league rewards or weekend league teams and they'll get division rivals rewards. So Thursday is when they're going to be buying their teams uh, next week. And this card I could see going 180 plus, honestly. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna hold one of them until next week, maybe two. Couple discard informs sitting, still sitting on my Winaldo. They have not updated the price, which is so annoying. Like, I hate waiting on EA to make me coins, so that's why um, I was streaming today and I decided to sell all of my Klosterman's and all of my Rodriguez because he was 30k. I saw that the market was going down. People were panicking because Team of the Week came out. Uh, first off, Sun wasn't in it. Uh, luckily, luckily I sold my Sun and Hollands before the Team of the Week comes out, right? You never want to actually wait until the Team of the Week's going to come out. You preferably want to sell on Tuesday because Footbin and Foothead put their solutions out on Twitter, Instagram, um, their Team of the Week predictions, and people see that and then go buy the players because they're going to be out of packs. So when that happens, the cards go up, right? I sold all of my Hollands today at around 113 to 114. And he is currently under like 113, right? Yes, he still would sell, but he did go down to like 105k today. Uh, he did go back up just because there's not that many transfers right now. Um, but yes, he is going to go up. I think he's going to stay around that price, right? Because I used him. He wasn't that good for me. Um, but he does have a lot of hype. So I think he's going to hold his price. Another one is Sun. And honestly, I didn't think he would go down this much, right? He was 300k. I sold mine. And now he's 250k. And that was in the span of two hours, right? Didn't get team of the week then he instantly dropped. Um, that's kind of crazy. I still think he's a really good pickup, right? You could get him for like 240. Uh, tonight, re Rivals Rewards, you could probably honestly get him for 220. Um, on a snipe, people are going to be crazy. They're going to want their money. Uh, they're going to sell players for cheap, undercut a bunch. So if you're watching this video, before Rewards comes out, you guys are going to want to snipe, 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 right? That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to open my packs. I'm taking tradable. Um, I don't really care because I can make coins other ways. I don't need to take coins. I'm taking tradable packs because that's 
what I do to get every year tradable packs. Um, and yeah, that is basically the investments that I kind of got out of. I do currently have, um, I still have the Mindy stuff, the Gomez, and they did go down a bit, right? So I might, I might look to pick up a couple of them tonight when he's even lower, right? He's 90K. He was like 94, 93. Um, but the thing is, tonight is Rivals Rewards. You're going to want to snipe, right? And then tomorrow, the market's going to go up a little bit because people get coins for their teams. And then it's going to go down Thursday night into Friday morning because of the panic of one swatch. And honestly, I think that if you want to buy players for investments, that is going to be the best time to do it. Thursday night to Friday morning um, because the second lightning rounds comes out yes you'll be able to snipe players but the cards will go up instantly and I want to bring you guys over to flipping right same maximum got a team of the week he's 290 this is not a card you should be picking up on Thursday night right because he will get packed a ton Friday and you could snipe him Friday but like but a player like Richarlison, a player like just meta cards, um, Havertz, you're going to want to pick up. He's actually down a lot right now. Um, he was like 130, right? He's 118 and he he's going to go out of packs. So that's something you could look at. Um, a Rashford you could look at. Bale's down. He was 100K and now he's 86. That's, I'm probably going to pick up a couple of him because he is going out of packs Friday. And out of packs investments are honestly the best way to go. Um, Dembele's down. Literally every single card is down. I got mine at 69k. And he, he just went down, right? That's crazy to me. Um, probably get him for like 60k tonight. Who knows? Warner, he didn't really go down but I think he does still have room to go up, right? He was like 250, he went down a little bit. I think I'm gonna look to pick up maybe one or two of him. He is going out of packs. And this card is insane, right? I've used him, I used him in draft. He is so good um, that I'm definitely gonna pick some of him up because he's just that good, right? But players I'm gonna look for tonight are low rated meta players, all right? Juan Bissaka, Fred, um, Samedo, Nabry, Lucas. Um, Lucas is actually so cheap right now, too. 60k. Literally, everyone went down a bit. Um, and it's honestly just because rewards are coming out, it's gonna happen tomorrow. So, basically, that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Let me know who you guys are invested in in the comments down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can message me on Twitter. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.